all right what's going on everybody um today i'm gonna show you guys how i would you know pretty much get rid of this bra um this is macy shout out to macy we did a birthday well not birthday it was a graduation dinner and you know her bra was showing on the inside so i'm gonna show you guys how i would quickly and easy get rid of this so the very first thing i would do um, i would pick one of these tools right here i would either pick this one or the lasso tool for this one i'm gonna pick the lasso and then i'm gonna just go ahead and outline the area in which i don't want there anymore so in this case the bra all right so after i traced over and i'm gonna zoom in and then really all i'm gonna do is from here is i'm gonna just go ahead and clone stamp it so i'm gonna hit s on the keyboard on all option and then i'm gonna just go ahead and start filling this in Same thing on the other side, just pick a point and just paint that in. Alright, as you can see, it kind of got that wrinkle, so get rid of that. Alright, when I'm done, I'm gonna hit Command D and that's gonna uncheck it. So as you can see, it got rid of most of it, but we're not done yet. So I'm gonna actually go in here again with a smaller brush and I'm gonna hit it a couple more times just to kind of blend it up. Getting rid of that black all together. Um, there are multiple different ways to do this, but this is how I would do it. Now again, this is just part one. I just want to get this out of the way first, so I'm just getting rid of all the black. Um, be sure while you're doing this, you want to make sure that your brush is set to hard. Um, if it's not set to hard, you want to come over here. You see where it says hardness? You just want to drag that up to 100%. All right. most part I'm gonna leave it like that and then so from there what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to filter and then I'm gonna go to liquify and what liquify is gonna allow me to do is it's gonna allow me to push and you know kind of morph it to make it look like the bra was never there so um, what we'll do is we we'll just start pulling and dragging you know just kind of trying to make sure you couldn't tell that there was a bra there so we're just making small and minor adjustments. You know, just pushing and pulling just a little bit. Zoom in, probably get a better view. You know, we're just pushing just a little bit, not too, too much. Cause the trick with Photoshop is you wanna make it look like it's not Photoshopped. That's how, that's how you could tell you did a good job at Photoshop. If you did, when you finish that photo and it looks real, you did your job. So you know it's just look like this is this is probably the most detailed I get with photos when I'm trying to make sure something looked like it was never there. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out just to make sure. Okay, not too too bad. I'm gonna hit this area right here. You know, just bringing some shape back into chest area all right so really we're just fine tuning so i'm gonna hit p on the keyboard what that does is it shows like pretty much the before and after the preview um so this is what it looks like now i'm not mad at that i'm gonna zoom in a little bit more because at this point i'm just i'm nitpicking like this little part right here is really bothering me that and then from there I'm gonna zoom in some more and I'm gonna just clone stamp out that last little bit and probably come in here hit this one more time even that out and hit this part too zoom out and just like that we will be technically done if we wanted it to this part is still bothering me so I'm gonna hit it one more time. But had this been the raw photo, had you guys not seen, you know, me go through this, you would have never actually known or zoomed in. So that's the thing I have to keep reminding myself when I'm editing. Um, so that's a tip that I would give all photographers actually. Um, when you feel like you're doing too much, you just gotta take a step back, take a look at it and be like, okay, before I did all this, had I just seen the photo just like this, would I have been able to tell? And you know, for me, nope. So at that point I would be done. But 
I'm gonna hit this one more time. Like, I'm telling you, like, it's just nitpicking at this point. I think I messed up. I probably need to leave it alone, but it's up to you about how much you want to go in on. There's no right or wrong way. Um, you know, there's no photographer or police who's gonna be like, oh, he used the blah 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 <laughs> in the photo. So just try not to overthink it. And I'm gonna zoom out one more time, and I think I'm good with that. So if you like what you saw, um, be sure to subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, and see you guys in the next tutorial.